Hello, my name is Dee Downey Pruitt. I'm a math teacher. I enjoy teaching math. This is a book I've enjoyed sharing with my students. Times Tables, The Fun Way. Even as an adult, I can picture the multiplication facts and picture the story in my mind, and it helps. So I hope you enjoy learning. Times Tables, The Fun Way by Judy Leto and David Rodriguez. Book for Kids, a picture method of learning the multiplication facts. In my experience, most everybody could increase their speed and accuracy by studying the multiplication facts. Chapter 3, Presenting the Threes. 3 times 3 equals 9. Out in the country lived a blind mama mouse. She was very happy because she was going to have triplets. She was worried about one thing. She had a cousin that was born without a tail. Every time the cousin tried to sit up, he would fall over because he had no tail to keep his balance. The mama mouse hoped and hoped that her babies would each have a tail. The birthday came, and to the mama's delight, each baby had not one tail but three tails each. The mama mouse was so proud. Remember, when it's three times three... There are three blind mice with three tails each, nine all together, and blind sounds like nine. I right, see the tails shaped like three. Three times three equals nine. Three times three equals nine. When it's three times three, there are three blind mice with three tails each, nine all together, and blind sounds like nine. Three times three is Nine. Three times four equals twelve. None of the kids at South School liked math. Each time they tried to do a problem, they couldn't remember their times tables. They wished they could just forget about math. Then their teacher said, You'll need to know some math to get a good job when you grow up. The principal told the teachers about the pictures and stories in Times Tables the Fun Way. The kids loved it. They were finally learning their times tables. They were so happy they sang this cheer. One, two, three, four. I like math. Let's do some more. And notice they put one, two, one, two, three, four. Four times three is twelve. Three times four is twelve. Remember, when it's three times four, the kids begin to cheer. The beginning of the cheer, one, two, twelve is the answer to 3 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, I like math, let's do some more. 1, 2, 3, 4, I like math, let's do some more. 3 times 4 is 12. 4. Chapter 4, Presenting the 4s. 4 times 4 equals 16. Bart loved hang gliding. He learned to fly when he was 14. The only thing that he didn't like was hiking his hang glider to the top of the hill so he could fly down. He wished he was 16 so he could drive and that he had a four-wheel drive to get to the top of the hill. He went to Bernie's Burgers and got a job working after school. By the time he turned 16, he saved enough money to buy a 4 by 4 he was so happy because his trip up the hill was almost as much fun as flying down. All right, see this 4x4 four four pickup truck? You may want to draw the picture. 4 times 4, a 4x4, four four, 16 at last. You have to be 16 to get your driver's license. Remember, when it's 4 times 4, the 4s become a 4x4, four four, like a 4x4 four four pickup truck, and you have to be 16 to drive it. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Chapter 5, Presenting the Fives. The Fives. You can learn the fives by looking at a clock. What time is it? Right, it's 10 after 10. When it's 10 after, the big hand points to the 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. When it's 20 after, the big hand points to the 4, so 4 times 4 is 20. And when it's 1030, the big hand points to the 6, so 6 times 5 is 30. 
What is 5 times 5? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There it is. You can also figure out the 5's by counting by 5's on your fingers. Let's try it. First finger says 5, so 5 times 1 is 5. Second finger says 10, so 5 times 2 is 10. Third finger says 15, so 5 times 3 is 15. Fourth finger says 20, so 5 times 4 is 20. Fifth finger says 5, so 5 times 5 is 25. Sixth finger says 30, so 5 times 6 is 30. Seventh finger says 35, so 5 times 7 is 35. Eighth finger says 40, so 5 times 8 is 40. Ninth finger says 45, so 5 times 9 is 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60. 60 minutes in an hour. Chapter 6, Presenting the Sixes. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Six loves to go out target shooting on weekends. One spring day when Six was in the forest practicing with her bow and arrow, she spotted a very large hairy creature with great big feet. Six wondered if he was the legendary Bigfoot. Six didn't want to hurt the creature, but she wanted to stop him from coming any closer. So she shot her arrow straight up into the air. It landed right in front of the hairy creature, stopping him dead in his tracks. All right, see, she's shaped like a six. The bow is shaped like a three. Six times three, when that arrow shoots, it looks like a one. In front of big foot, shaped like an 18. Remember, when it's six times three, six shoots her bow, three. The arrow one lands in front of big foot, which is an eight. Six times three is 18. Six times three is 18. And if you count by sixes, 6, 12, 18. Six times four equals 24. There was once a snail that lived in a swamp with lily pads. The swamp was pretty ordinary, but next to it was a special magic four pond. The snail knew that if he climbed into the magic pond, he would have one wish granted. The snail had become tired of always looking at the ground. He wished he could soar above the trees and mountains like a swan, so he climbed up into the magic pond. The snail closed his eyes very tightly and made his wish. Poof! His wish came true, and he turned into a beautiful swan. Remember, when it's six times four, six is a snail in a magic pond, shaped like a four. The snail gets his wish to become a swan, shaped like a two, thanks to the magic pond, four. Six times four is 24. Six times four is 24. This is one of my favorite. Six times six is 36. There were twin sixes from Africa. They wanted to visit their cousins who lived across the desert. They hadn't seen each other for many years. They set out on their journey. After hiking for many days, they got low on water. Just when they started to get very worried, they came upon a pool of clear, cool spring water. The twin sixes were so happy to find water. They were very thirsty sixes. After getting a drink, they made it to their cousin's house where they had a glorious party. Remember, when it's six times six, see those six times six, and they're thirsty, their hung, tongues are hanging out. They are very thirsty sixes, 36. Six times six is thirty sixes. Thirty six. Six times six, thirty six. Six times six, thirty sixes. Six times six, thirty six. When it's six times six, they are very thirsty sixes. Thirty six. I'm an adult, but I still picture this in my mind. We know that six times 6 is 36. 
Another way to write that, you might see this, 6 to the second power. 6 to the second power, that means six, the base 6, this is an exponent 2, the base 6 is used as a factor two times. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 to the second power is equal to 36. 6 squared is equal to 36. Remember, when it's 6 times 6, they are very thirsty 6s. Six times eight is equal to 48. Cece the eight and her family lived in a hut by the sea. Every day they ate bananas and fish. On her birthday, they sat on the beach and sang songs. Then Cece saw a ship sailing to shore. They waved to the captain. Why are you singing, he asked. It's my birthday, said Cece. Oh, will you like to come aboard my ship? Oh, yes, the family called back. The captain took Cece into the kitchen. The sick chef said, the cake is for the eight. Cece the eight loved the cake. It looked just like her, and it didn't taste anything like bananas or fish. Remember when it's six times eight, six is the chef. See, six wearing a chef's hat. And the cake is in the shape of an eight. See that cake in the shape of an eight? And the cake is for the eight. On the tablecloth, it looks like a four, for the eight. The cake is for the eight, 48. Six times eight is 48. Six times eight is 48. Six times eight is 48.